In my yesterday's video about Crew 2.0 Test 2, where I covered everything what they changed with uh, compared to the first version of Crew 2.0, they did improve it a lot, uh, but it is not even close being perfect. Uh, they did fix many many obvious mistakes, which should have not been any mistakes from the get go. But in that video, I asked, uh, would you like to see me going over all the skills, uh, rating them to see which skills are worth it, you know, explaining them to you a bit more to see what kind of uh, crazy things we can do, and uh, so many of you wanted to see me doing that so let's uh, go ahead and do that in this video uh, because many of those skills are uh, new actually slightly reworked we have some new ultimate skills over here as well so which type of skills are on the borderline being broken maybe completely broken maybe uh, very useless uh, we'll take a look but you know we can all agree that we could use a lot of gold retrading uh, new commanders testing out new commanders even though you can do that without gold as well uh, but uh, gold makes uh, everything easier ladies and gentlemen and this is where i come in today's video as well is part of the uh, 10 year anniversary giveaway special i have already uh, announced the uh, 10 premium then giveaway 10,000 gold giveaway and today 10,000 gold giveaway as well in the comment section more about that a bit later uh, but uh, this is made possible thanks to our new sponsor of the channel actually so let's hear a quick word from our new sponsor and let's jump right into the skills. Today's video is brought to you by something I thought you beasts might be interested in checking out as you like to smack metal things, you know, as you do every single day. Mech Arena offers just that, a free to play 5 vs 5 team based shooter with mechs that actually has the right amount of balance between, you know, just to jump into the battle for 5 minutes, blow up couple mechs, uh, MVP after MVP, like I am doing right over here, you can see Capitan Nuts MVP. Or maybe you want to play this game for hours uh, in skill based competitive game well it has that as well whatever you prefer anyway mech arena already comes with tons of mechs each with unique abilities and different play styles weaponry uh, weaponry to unlock tactics and styles literally thousands of ways to customize your mechs with hundreds of skins paint jobs and whatnot and this is what i love about it it doesn't have the b1 win all strategy or balance well you can customize your mech as you please maybe for different k modes such as control point capture five versus five or two versus two death match tournaments and much more and game developers are always active releasing new content regular special events competitions tournaments new mechs weapons and modes which are coming as well they are currently carrying up for its official worldwide release in august but if you are in the us canada uk or another lucky country check the link in the description or scan my qr code and you will get quite a nice head start featuring one mil spec skin 500 a coins and 70,000 credits, so do not miss out and happy smacking. And there you go, thank you very much, this is how I fund my giveaways, and don't you worry guys, I am going to do something awesome with the rest of the money, so just uh, stick around and stay tuned. Quick word about the current giveaway, what is going to be under this video's comment section, at least 10,000 gold, maybe a couple thousand more, we'll see how good your answers are going to be, but what you have to do for that is super simple, leave a comment under this video answering to the video's question which is name uh, your in your opinion the most overpowered skill and maybe the least exciting skill for you together with your server together with your username every single server is able to win and i will uh, buy that gold for you and secondly be a subscriber because i would like to support people who support me mutual respect you know uh, it is super simple to do by the way this is why i never announce it on the thumbnail in the title of the video or in the description uh, if you randomly click on the videos so uh, you have a chance to uh, stumble upon a giveaway like this one and you have a chance to win so congratulations but now uh, let's jump back into the skills and let's see what is new what is different what is the same uh, let's start with um tactical training so we might have some you know vehicle boosting stuff over here if at least one allied vehicle of the same type is located within 75 meters of you the level of vehicle handling is increased by 0.25 percent for each skill point spent so coherence was a thing uh, in the previous version as well they have uh, changed it slightly i don't remember it was 75 meters anyway coherence uh, basically is going to boost your vehicle handling if uh, the same vehicle type is located within 75 meters of you so if you're playing with the medium tank you need uh, basically another medium tank next to you and it goes up to 2.5 percent if you spend all the skill points 
Uh, secondly, situational awareness. We already have this. Uh, situational awareness, as far as I remember, is basically uh, the current situational awareness and uh, recon skill put into one. The view range is increased by 0.5% per skill uh, point spent. The signal range is increased by 2%. Well, signal range, nobody cares about that, but uh, you can see that you can get your view range up to uh, 5%. Uh, if I remember correctly, situational awareness gave us uh, 3% and recon 2%. So basically the same. Uh, two skills put into one, which is, uh, you know, kind of a win, right? Um, should be at least kind of a win. You don't need to train two skills on your commander. Like one skill gives you as much. But uh, 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 still, we'll see. Brothers in Arms vehicle handling is increased by 0.5% per skill point spent. This is Brothers in Arms, the good old Brothers in Arms. 5% to the uh, vehicle handling, basically. Fire adjustment. When you cause damage to a target within your view range, the target remains spotted for an additional up to two seconds uh, after which the effect is reset. Okay, so you can keep enemy tanks uh, spotted for longer. Might be useful because if you think about all the reload times, usually the reload time might be around 9 to 10 seconds. So at first when the enemy tank gets spotted, uh, your allies take like 1 to 2 seconds to react to it. Then they start aiming the, towards them. Then they take the shot. And if the target stays lit for 2 more seconds, depends on the reload time, they have time to take another shot. You know, you have to think about all the human reaction times as well. Uh, so let's put that boom just like this. And it is unlocked already, by the way. And uh, covered surveillance. This is new, right? Upon your first uh, or repeated spotting of the enemy vehicle, the concealment of your vehicle is increased by 1% per skill point uh, spent. Oh my god, like... Knowing what some other skills do, guys, we can make... S the, the camo is going crazier and crazier. The camo and view range combination is going crazier and crazier. I can already think about some crazy things on uh, for ELC, for EBR, for Manticore. Uh, so this is, uh, once again, like extra brothers in arms effects for you. Uh, if the amount of damage is... Uh, exceeds your initial durability so let's say if your vehicle has 1500 hit points you deal 1500 damage your vehicle gets better 2.5 percent if you do that again then five percent and if you have 4300 sorry 4500 damage with 1500 hit point vehicle then your uh, fighting spirit is 7.5%, so your vehicle performs 7.5% better. So, this is a skilled player dream skill, uh, basically. Uh, the more you do, the better you are going to be, you know. The more damage you do, the better you are going to be. This is very snowball -y skill, in my opinion. It helps to snowball battles even harder. If one team, like, let's say, if every single... We have 30 players on the battlefield, right? Let's say 30 players all have this skill, right? One team does very good, one team gets boosted very good, gets boosted, the gap gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger compared to the other uh, 15 players who have the same team, um, who have the same skill but have not done a lot of damage, then, you know, try to come out, out from that snowball. It's not easy, right? Um, team spirit, if the amount of uh, damage goes with your assistance, so this is uh, for light tanks, basically, it gives you the same thing. Uh, the more you keep spotting, the better your view range is going to be, basically, for uh, light tanks. So, it's very snowbally, snowbally skill, in my opinion. Both of those are very snowbally. You, you know, the better your team does, um, the better you are going to be. Uh, okay, so tactical training, uh, definitely some very powerful skills over here, and uh, some very must-have skills, like this is uh, most likely must-have skill, this is must-have skill, especially for good players. So once again, uh, you have to spend, if you want to take the maximum mode of this crew system, you have to spend 30 points over here somewhere. You know, most medium tanks maybe are going to spend it like this. Yeah, vehicle handling, view range, production arms, and boom. Done. And fighting spirit. Just like that. So, Connery. Uh, the chance of damaging enemy modules and crew members is increased by up to 30%. Effect allows the determined critical damage modules on vehicle that remains in the circle for 1.15 seconds per skill point spent. Okay. Effect allows for determining critical damage. Oh, so this is basically like Eagle Eye. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. 
Uh, this is, uh, we, I covered it uh, quickly yesterday as well. This is like improved aiming. This makes your dispersion up to 5% uh, uh, better. This is close combat. If at least one enemy vehicle is located 50, 50 meters uh, from 50 meters of you, the level of vehicle handling is increased up to 2.5%. So this is like face hugging tanks, you know. Uh, aggressive vehicles uh, damage and penetration dispersion is decreased uh, to plus minus 20 percent look at that the upper limit of damage dispersion uh, the lower limit of penetration the upper limit of penetration well basically it uh, reduces some RNG it makes your shots more predictable, I would say so. This, like, this is a topic for another video. I'm going to, I think I'm going to make an episode about that soon, about the RNG in this game, and 25% being too much. Um, I mean, RNG has good things, has bad things, right? But 25% has way more bad things than good things. That 25% is way too much. Adrenal Reich gun reload time is... Um, Decreased by 8% per skill point spent, up to 8%, when vehicle durability is reduced by 20% or less. Okay, now I don't know if... Previously, this was actually quite a broken skill, because uh, you were able to make your uh, durability or, or, you know, your vehicle... Um, if it was maxed out, your vehicle could have had like 85% uh, hit points left and you got to maximum 8% reload boost. But now, is it uh, fixed down to 20% or less? Or is it also increasing? We have to check it out uh, while we're in the game because right now we're not able to be in the game. Uh, the server is down while I'm recording it. Sandbox is town, but uh, yeah, this needs to be tested out. If it was, if it is like it was, then it is very good. But uh, that twenty percent, well, I don't know, would not waste too much uh, on it actually. Uh, when you cause damage to an enemy vehicle by shooting, uh, the aiming time and gun dispersion during movement, as well as on hull and uh, the rotation, are decreased by ten percent for five seconds. This is autoloader skill, autoloader skill definitely. The minimum potential damage and minimum potential penetration values are increased by 10% in 5 seconds after your gun reloads. Okay, the effect lasts until you fire a shot. Okay, so after your gun is done reloading, uh, your next shell basically uh, has better RNG values. Once again, limiting the RNG. <laughs> but is this worth enough uh, to spend 30 points? Like, this is for aggressive, this is eagle eye. Like, maybe if I would um, spend anything over here, I want to see how, like, I want to see how this skill works now. Maybe I'm, like, would do something like this. With autoloaders, we can go this. RNG. Removing some RNG, we can go like this, you know, you never know. Uh, so, technical training, let's go. Let's see what the uh, field repairs. So, so, this is, we have a couple must-have skills, definitely. Definitely a couple must-have skills. Previously, one of the biggest problems was people wanted to test out all the new skills, right? And this is actually going to be an issue as well. Uh, people wanted to test out all the new skills, uh, but uh, they forgot to add repairs. And everyone was tracked for like 10 seconds. Everyone was basically getting perma-tracked. So you have to spend 10 points right over here, right from the get-go, basically, if you want to get the fastest repair speed. What do you think if um, everyone has repair skill? already maxed or at least commander comes with 50 percent uh, faster repair skill than the stock repair speed what do you think about that would that make this entire system more interesting actually let me know concealment oh this is this is one one very big thing once again uh, you can build some crazy camo builds uh, the base concealment is increased by uh, 10 percent per skill sp uh, skill point spent so if i spend 10 points right over here ladies and gentlemen the base concealment value is increased two times think about dlc think about manticore think about freaking ebr let's say your base concealment is 20 percent now you can double it it is 40 percent as far as i understand right <clears throat> because i spent 10 points over here i can times my base concealment with two right it's 100% better. This is a big thing, definitely. Uh, intuition, switching between shell types uh, in the loaded gun or magazine is accelerated by up to 60%. Uh, 
and it gets boost boosted by all the other skills uh, all the other things uh, most definitely so this is like the intuition we currently have uh what is this rationing consumable cooldown is decreased by two percent up to 20 percent nice uh, the durability of internal modules is increased by up to 20 percent uh, if an internal module receives critical damage, the negative effect is decreased by 5% per skill point uh, spent. So up to 50%. The chance, of, the chance of fire by 30% and the firefighting abilities are enhanced by 80% when boosted to the max. Thrill of the hunt. For each enemy vehicle, you cause... Damage by shooting, gun dispersion and aiming time are decreased by 2%. The effect stacks up to 5 times until the end of the battle. Wow! Wow! For each enemy vehicle, you cause damage to by shooting. So basically, if you hit 5 enemy tanks, 5 different enemy tanks, right? Your gun handling is going to be 10% better. Aiming time as well, by the way. Gun dispersion and aiming time. Wow! Return fire. Upon blocking each enemy shell with armor, gun dispersion is decreased by 15% until you fire a shot. This is way better. This is way better. This is way better, especially for good players. Damn. Okay. Drive. Let's see. Driver skills. My cup of tea, you know. How, how good of a ramming E50 I can do. I can build. Quick start. In the first five seconds after you start moving... The engine power of your vehicle is increased by 5%. So faster acceleration, good for ramming. Smooth ride. Uh, gun dispersion on the turret or gun traverse is decreased by up to 7.5%. Gun dispersion during movement uh, or on hull traverse is decreased by 4%. So this is like smooth ride and snapshot put into one. This skill, once again, is two in one. If you max it out, it's two in one. Clutch braking. Uh, this is... The hull traverse, the effectiveness of maintaining speed when crossing soft. Okay, once again, two in one. Glitch breaking and uh, the, the rain resistance uh, skill are put in one. 5% and 5%. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that, actually. This makes, you know, you don't have to drain two skills on your driver. What, uh, like, so many skills. What are separated are now together. I, I, I do like that, actually. This one, uh, definitely. You know, driver is under heavy pressure all the time, has been. Let's see, ramming tactics. The damage you cause by ramming is, is increased up to 20%. The damage you receive upon ramming is decreased up to 10%. In addition, the damage to suspension received from ramming is decreased by 60%. So I can make my vehicle deal more damage when ramming up to 20% and take 10% less damage. Alright, I feel like this skill was nerfed somehow. I don't remember exactly from the top of my head, but I feel like this skill was nerfed. Gun reload time is uh, reduced by zero, uh, up to 5% per skill uh, point spent uh, when moving at the speed higher than 40. So this is EBR skill. This is EBR skill, right? But uh, does EBR use anything else? Like light tank, medium tank skill, who likes to fire on the ball. Let's see. Are the ultimate skills worth it? Operational intelligence. In 5 seconds after you start moving, the concealment of enemy vehicles, either moving or behind footage, is reduced by 10%. More camo, more view range, more spotting. Where are we going with this? Where exactly are we going with this? Torque, the engine power, halter speed, and turning speed of wheels are increased by 10%. The effect lasts until you reach a speed of 40 km per hour. Meh. I don't like that. I don't like that, actually. Okay, so, oper uh, not operational. Uh, driving, driver training. Operational draining, let's see. 
terrain knowledge. The time your vehicle remains spotted after leaving the enemy's view range is reduced by up to three seconds. This is this can be big. This can be big, uh, especially for very fast like EBRs. Once again, we have to we have to think about some broken tanks and uh, how broken we can make. Is it like game breaking? We're going to do a lot of testing, as I said uh, before. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for that. We're going to do a lot of testing from the uh, sandbox server. Uh, on the sandbox server. Stealth. The effect of vehicle's concealment behind foliage and after firing are increased by 1% per skill point uh, uh, spent, so up to 10%. The effect is not active if your vehicle is on fire. Imagine this on E freaking 25. Imagine this, ladies and gentlemen. Your concealment behind foliage and after firing. So if you are behind the foliage and you fire, so is it double stacking it? Like, oh boy, the old tank destroyers, uh, uh, the old tank destroyer camo bonuses wants to come back. And stealth is direct to move towards that, right? This can be crazy. This can be big, 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 big. <clears throat> Pain threshold. The chance of crew member injury is decreased by 25% and the negative effect from injuries are decreased uh, by 50%. Effect an enemy uh, remains spotted an additional three seconds per skill point no, or, or up to three seconds after the vehicle is destroyed. Mm, okay. The negative stun effect is, in, is decreased by up to 25%. Resilience. Uh, the duration of crew stunning and damage received from HE shells are reduced by 7.5% and the damage received from ramming or impact is decreased by 15%. Okay, so extra ramming. I may... <coughs> for E50M ramming build, ladies and gentlemen. So 10% reduction from here, 10% reduction from here. And also equipment unit. Uh, Spore liner reduces ramming damage received as well. Applied medicine. The level of vehicle handling is increased by 7.5% for 30 seconds when you use first aid kit. First aid kit cooldown is increased by 45. Oof. Okay. This was uh, like the rough idea is the same, but the cooldown is increased compared to the previous version, right? Uh, gun reload time is decreased by 7.5% for 20 seconds when you use a repair kit. Okay, so those are some tactical things uh, what you can use uh, just to boost your DPM or vehicle handling in situations, right? Like we had those before as well. So, my friends, we have some new skills over here. We have some uh, old skills, some reworked skills, a uh, couple skills which uh, I'm really you know, worried about uh, how good it is going to be, like how crazy camo and after firing camo combination we can make a camo view range combo mobility uh, uh, vehicle handling what is that cap going to be like all those things combined with instructors you know we have the new instructor special system as well ooh, 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 ooh. so much thing to test out so so many things to test out i am going to put this to ultimate test i'm going to squeeze everything out of it because if they don't do that, I do that, and I will keep you in the loop as well what type of uh, uh, stuff we can come up with. If you have already some ideas in the, uh, like, with this, what type of builds you would like to see me doing, add that to your comment as well. All in all, that is me done. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know uh, what is, in your opinion, the most overpowered skill, what is the weakest skill, uh, together with your username, your server, so you are eligible, eligible, eligible. Uh, for giveaway as well mm, let's celebrate 10 years of this game's big time as always i love you all stay awesome stay sexy stay naked take care and bye